Korea taking on G2 Esports, who on social media want to go through and win this through the lower bracket. But we're going to find out today, ladies and gentlemen. A little Furia G2 coming your way right about now. It's do or die time now with G2 versus Furia in Katowice to stay alive in the competition. It's all down to really getting through the last few battles today, Chad. And uh, we start here on Nuke, G2, Furia, both comfortable on this affair. Want to expect odds on your screen favoring G2 coming into this one. Yeah, and look, the Dust was just talking about this T-side approach of Furia here, so we'll see how much they favor the Yard. Within this tournament, I think they've probably gone outside with set pieces four or five times. They're very lobby-centric, and that's going to put more pressure on Alexi B, the ramp holder, Jackson Hunter, reside over towards top now art with the p250 in hand making some space taking a fight or two multiple individuals spotted here and they know alexi could be on his lonesome now Yuria start to try and challenge down alexi b he'll drop back in behind the smoke and shield himself off as furia held towards ramp a little bit of a gap to trying to gather info from on that right side of the smoke but furia backing off now yeah is alexi going to push back up because if he pushes through he can get some info but there's so many positions left to worry about starting to get a little bit quizzical here so that info means that jackson hunter could be on high alert towards the top side of things caserado with the flash they are setting up for a top hit it's going to come bounding out of his hands and they'll spring out the door here they come in towards the site, Art Tasser just trying to distract towards outside, but he has gone down as well. Two great kills here for G2. Hunter stepping up as well with some clean shots in Furia, just down to Keserato. He's trying to do his best with a Glock in hand, but with 35 seconds, no teammates around him. It's very difficult to see how he gets into this one. He'll start to move his way back into the site, but so many different positions to try and deal with. He's been chunked down even further, down to 24. With that, the time is starting to take as well. Keserato realizes this one's a done deal. Yeah, he's going to have to walk on out to his demise here. 15 seconds remaining. Death is on the agenda. Only a few moments now. It's 10 seconds. Picking on through, trying to draw out the fight. Goes on down to Hunter. And look, if Keserato's best is not going to be good enough, the desk has already pointed out. He has been the beacon of hope here for Furia throughout. Both of these teams on your screens right now, they haven't had to go through the play-ins. They were virtue of coming through within uh, the, the next stage, straight within to the main group. So uh, we got Furio tasted them last week. You were over there at uh, ESL Challenger. Yep. And uh, now we're getting to see them here on our very screens. But Nuke is such an interesting choice for this team who doesn't play on meta Counter-Strike as far as the map is concerned. Yeah, you were, we were taking a little look before this, seeing how many times they hit Yard. Not a lot, Chad. I think in the in the last demo we were watching, it was maybe three times on their entire T half. So not a lot, but here we go. Out top, just the Glocks in hand, and they should be getting mowed up. How have they managed to get away with this? Well, suddenly Furia. Making a bit of a mess, but the bomb is down on the site towards A. <laughs> oh, Monacy, lovely little tap, and now Yuri's flanking around the backside. Yeah, it feels like they've gotten way more than it's worth in a round like this. Extremely light investment, but Yuri could win this round with the gap and the M4 in hand. Has a chance here, and that's a free kill. It's a one-on-one -on -one against Monacy. This could be an absolute disaster for G2, but Monacy's going to be tested early. He has only got a scout in hand. Yuri has the better weapon here. Problem is, Monacy has control of the bomb for the time being. There is so much time. Yuri doesn't need to be in a rush here, and Monacy has no idea where he's gotten off to, so both just hitting the brake. No sound cues coming through, cutting noise. Waiting to see who's going to make the first mistake as part of this. Monacy currently residing in lobby, and Yuri, as he makes his way around ramp, they might have a head-on collision. Well, Monacy knows that he can play with the USP because Yuri doesn't have armor, right? These are all soft opponents, so the USP is good for the tap to the head if Monacy can get it. And Yuri's starting to come back through the ramp. It's all about the timings here as Yuri begins to move his way back into lobby. Monacy holds from squeaky, dropping back. Yuri spotted. spotted him, and it's Furia who tie up the scoreline early. What a massive round to win. I, I cannot state that enough. That investment that they brought in was basically nothing. They just go into the top site with a flash. There was a P250 out and Glocks. That one there is egg on the face of G2 here early. That is a miserable way to be kicking off this map. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, Monacy tries his best here, but Yuri, like you said, just with that time, is able to maneuver around the map, and Monacy has to guess about so many different angles. Yeah, there's so many unknowns right there, but that's a horrible round to lose. If it was an investment, if it was a force by sure, maybe you get excited, but see what that means for the buy. Furia, just by one player surviving with that light investment, safe straight into an AWP. This is dream scenario for Furia right here. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild they've got into this situation. Those rounds are like a one in 10, yeah. right? They are so difficult to win. Maybe even a one in 20, considering. Uh, the force might back from G2 here. They want to see if they can contest this. Monacy into a scout. Deagles for the rest and Kevlar for the four. For a well standard spread here. 
Want to see the heaven rotator Nico out towards yard. Again, Hunter and Jack's tasked with locking down towards the A bomb side and Alexi B for ramp. G2 would love to try to steal this one back. Want to see. Oh, good shot from Nico. Goes up for a second. Couldn't quite capitalize. You were able to double up because he found Monacy as well. Who was trying to get the wide swing up to deal with Silo, but Fury making this one nice and easy. They've only lost one player. And that's how they want to keep it as they now look to challenge down Jax's Deagle. He's got a deal from attack from two fronts. Squeaky has dropped loose forward. Jax, oh, he's able to recover at least a shot off. So another kill, another rebuy. Alexi B stuck towards the ramp. Yeah, and in the whole scheme of this, it doesn't matter. The force by force flat immediately, right? If you're going to invest like that and you want to win back the force by wars after what well, was a bit of an embarrassing round loss, uh, you need to be more potent than just two deagle kills. So G2, you better got to be hoping you get the version that was against Liquid, not the one that was against Fnatic in maps two and three. Now, just to take you uh, for a little bit of a journey down their group stage so far, it was new because their opening jaunt, it was the first map we got to see them on here at IEM Katowice 2022. And they won at 16 to 2. Nico was mauling them towards Yard. Everything was looking fantastic. And well, then as the series continued, it got worse and worse. Making on the new liquid, they were able to scoop that one up and looking much more convincing. That is going to be an interesting story to really go down is seeing how this UT G2 team are going to deal with Fury's T side because a big part of their success was Nico's ability to play disruptive uh, in the words of Mezzi. And, and, and he was really shutting them down towards outside. They don't really go outside. That's the thing, right? And in the early stages, we have seen Art out there within the anti-eco or the anti-force, and we also saw him there on the pistol. But as far as gun rounds go, they like to throw the bridge smoke to cover off between uh, the T-boxes and T-red, right, to give them a little bit of wiggle room. And then they'll throw the L-block smokes, but they, they hardly use them, at least in the demos that we've been keeping our eye on. So it's going to be more lobby-centric, and we already built up the three key players. That takes Nico and Monacy a little bit out of the mix. It puts more pressure on the other three. Yeah, Monacy really is a very static player when it comes to the CT side here as well. We're going to see him really just, he'll he'll pretty much not go beyond the warehouse and he'll go back to hell very, very often. So that's his positions really on the CT side. Quite easy to, to see if you're Fury, if you've done your homework on how to deal with him. And Kea Serato and Drop start to rip apart this defense. Not much really going for G2 in this one. Well, closing the vents there. Uh, you can see if maybe you're not too for me, maybe you didn't even know because the vents broken half the time. You can hit E on that and it just puts the shutters down on the vent. Make sure. Nobody can be cheeky beaky. Uh, being cheeky himself is uh, just two more to find. Nico and Monacy, the last two alive. And the curious question is, at what point are they going to need to try and force their way into the game, right? Because what they could do early, if, as we mentioned, they've done their homework and they see that Fury doesn't want to do a lot of aggressive yard plays, they could actually send Nico out on his lonesome to take full control and even start going for aggro maneuvers, freeing up Monacy to not have to be the outside rotator. But the desk was talking about it as well, vent drops from Art, who's going to deal with that? It would make sense if it's Alexi coming down from ramp, we're going to see where the weaknesses are, where the pressure points are. So just giving you a couple of details to look out for here. Don't expect this to be a standard game of Nuke unless Fury have uh, decided to change things overnight. It would be kind of strange to try and do that against a team like G2 where, you know, Nico is playing towards outside. Ooh. A little steal there from Monacy. Uh, he even gets just, a kill. Uh, he's been able to get a kill there on the way out as well and stay up. I thought for a second he might go down, but Monacy handles it. That's a good weapon to pick up. That buys some extra cash here for G2 to play with. Exactly. He gets to drop that over to one of his teammates, and he can buy into the AWP still. So for this topside defense, there actually might be a bit more utility. Hunter is lucky that Monacy's thrown that one over, but this was just cleaning house here for Furia. No dramas. The scoreline reads 3-1 to one in the favor of the Brazilians. Hart keeping a Mac-10 in hand, and well, here you go. You can see some of this top-centric utility. K Serato up and over on the silo. So many bodies in lobby here. Now, they have to know that it's very rare to see Fury using these yard smokes. You've seen them setting up for a top pop. Smoke towards main flash on out. Here we go. Bit of quickness to this. Art coming out with a Mac-10. Looking to put pressure on Jack to the back of the site. And luckily, Hunter there to back him up. But Art's in the smoke. He is still in the smoke right now. And Jax is just trying to find him. But once he pulls the net, Art just comes out of nowhere. Oh, that is so frustrating. Now Monacy has to try and pull that kill back. And Art, of course, still inside of the smoke. His Monacy drops into his rifle. And now Furia in a very good position. Kea Serato's about to remove Nico, yeah. and it's just Alexi B. Oh, that was way too easy, wasn't it? You could all see it. You could see it coming. You could see it coming every day of the week. They're just scattered on the site. 
Maroon, Jackson Hunter didn't have a lot of help. Desperate maneuver there from Monacy dropping in with without any flash, without too many teammates around to assist. And now it is just Alexi B with the Famous in hand and a great round from Furia. The thing is, once they start to set this tone early of being able to get away with top hits like that, that's where the playbook opens up. That's when you actually can go back to using Yard because they're going to have less eyes, right? They're not going to put as much focus on that position. And they're fo they're, often you will see CT sides put their best players in around the Yard position. And, and Nico and, and Monacy are going to be the two players around that area. If you're Fury, you're, you're somewhat targeting the weaker elements, right? You're, you're targeting Jax, you're targeting Hunter, having to play all, all alongside him. And if you could put pressure onto that site anchor, it can be really difficult for G2 to patch that up. Yeah, it's curious that that, that is the approach, right? Because for everybody else in, in modern day Counter-Strike, it is about playing the rotations, you know, doing the smoke walls, the different variations, lurking into warehouse, peeling into main, going yeah. down secret, the standard broken record stuff. I'm sure you guys are fed up of hearing, but this is R up to his regular hijinks. That's exactly what he's known for. Yeah. Heard Yanko uh, saying that this team he doesn't think uh, can find too much success with him at the helm. Well, let's wait and see. Maybe Art has something to say. It's going to be a little bit of a buy back here. Hunter is able to purchase into an M4 due to well, the financial situation previously. A bit more of a lean towards Yard here. Three players out there crawling with the guise of safe's AWP. 11 years the difference between primary AWPers and the server today. I'm see. I think he's the youngest in the tournament. Safe, maybe the oldest AWP we have in play. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Safe actually had a stint in 1.6. Very recently picked Ooh. up CSGO again in just 2019. So hasn't been playing pro for a very long time. Go kill some art here. Hunter going down alongside Jax. Not much resistance again here for G2. And Art is getting all the positions that he wants right now. Feeding up on this G2 side. Yeah, if I'm X-Taz right now, I'm calling a bloody timeout and I'm calling it quick just to settle them in. Hey, boys, this is it. We have two games to play today. Do we want to do it the hard way or the easy way? Uh, it'd be nice to get through Fury as quick as you like. Make sure that you're not stressing out too much. You're not having to go three maps, overtimes, stressful comebacks, because you still have one more game to play against the winner of Fnatic and Astralis, which is going down simultaneously with us over there on the B stream, being casted by Hugo and Harry. If you want to check that one out, then you can squad stream. You can also add a B to the end of the URL. That one is kicking off on Inferno. I'll let you go and find the score if you ever so desire. But this is a great start from Furia here. You love to see what they're pulling out early and they're getting away with their traditional plays. So things seem to be going well in the Brazilian playbook. Couple of kills, but this is consolation at best. We won't start worrying about too many economical woes. Just with the way this game start, <laughs> tip, nice. Well, wow, he's sharp at least, but yeah. this is the thing. If he's not in the action, it's not gonna matter. It's all a little bit of style points. That's all he's getting right now. And an AK, an AK into the hands that's of true. That's true, the AK can be uh, deadly in the hands of this man right here. I think there's no doubt he is the absolute best rifler in the world. Often the best on the server, certainly today. Now 5-1 start for Fury up. G2 on the pistol, and that's it. Yeah, I, I just feel the way that this game started, especially like to, to Glocks and P250s with a couple of flashes, like that is miserable. It sets the tees up in such a nice place. And I, I want to build on that a little bit. You can see the amount of cash for K Serato, Drop, and Safe. They all right now, this is before Drop buys, but they all currently have over 10K. Right, this is a dream it's, start. It's, yeah, this is looking so good for Fiora early on. Even if G2 are able to pick up a round, not only do they have to win this round, but they have to win it relatively cleanly. You can't afford to lose too many weapons here. Yeah, so uh, Shu on the other foot for G2 are the ones going to be feeling the ramifications of the economy early. And this was the timeout I, I spoke about. It has been called uh, necessary, right? Necessary, just to wake them up because it is the first game of the day, but it may be one of these teams last. Well, here we go, about to get things back in play. Freeze time has subsided, and away we go. What's the difference going to be? Monacy able to get his weapon of choice. There are defuse gets in play and plenty of utility, so G2 have everything they need to defend. Squeaky, swing it open, Molly, and smoke. So just a warning shot through. Oh, Monacy playing towards ramp. Start of this round a little different for him to try and deal with some of the numbers that might come his way. But Nico finally deals with Art. Art the first time really in this game hasn't been able to get into a strong position. Kazerata looking to pull that back, but whiffs his spray, and that is going to allow Hunter the second kill of play for G2. A must convert for G2 now. This is a great opening. Monacy shows himself at ramp with the AWP. It forces a reaction from Art, and Nico mops that up with his aim. So at this point, in a three-on-five situation, you can't give away too much. Alexi, he's the next man to be tested towards Yard. He's in a pretty good spot right now to try and come away with one. He can just peel back, knowing his team already so far up. And that's Yuri down, and Lexi B sees the second. 
He just drops back down into health, tosses an on up, and they're locking down the control, making sure that it is very comfortable here for G2. And this is the round we were talking about, Chad. I just mentioned they need to keep as many players up as possible here for G2, and they're doing a good job of that right now. Yeah, it's looking very good. Uh, still 35 seconds remaining. So, uh, Furia, how are they going to get into this one? There is a B stream up down the side of the screen. Fnatic off to a flyer of a start now. This is Astralis. I know it's not impressing too many people. It might be a hard pill for some of the Danes to swallow. This is no longer a championship caliber team. They have to prove to us here that they've got the hard yards. They still have what it takes. Alexi. Oh, he's got okay. a little bit of a prowl. How far forward is he going to go? Because the angle from drop, right? Yeah, it's not going to be a necessary, obvious clear for Alexi during all of this. He's checking towards it. He seems like he's going to be ready for this. And he jumps up on the box. Drop given the advantage. Sees him first, and that is going to allow the kill. And now they're just trying to take him down again. Half the time, you, you can't really give away anything here, G2. So no hunt will be had. And so Furious save two rifles. But finally, G2 won a gun round. And that's the thing, with all that extra cash we were talking about, you can justify the save there from Fury. They have so much to work with, they can get themselves another buy. It's all good in the hood, and well, the loss bonus would have only been a little tiny bit of 1,400. Yeah, it's cool to see after the timeout, we see the immediate visible adjustments being taken into play, you know, replacing Monacy's position, putting him on the ramp, and I think that is certainly going to be a good ad adaptation against They Fury can do now. that consistently. I yeah. think they can definitely do that consistently, or start dropping Monacy. AWP over towards ramp, Alexi straight towards the lower site. He can also address any art vent drops if they come on through, but so far, so good. Standard play out here is lobby focus again from Furia. There are smokes dropped towards yard, but there's not too much worries. The U2 comes in towards top. Here they come again. Well, Jax tested first good headshot right between the eyes of Art, but decides to pull utility, and so that allows Yuri the instantaneous refrag. Well, this one can slow down now. They've got what they're looking for, an opening frag. More bodies. Starting to lean towards Squeaky here. Quite a key point of rotation and they're starting to siphon back towards Monacy's position. Orp versus Orp could be on the cards. Monacy holds. He'll be tested. The pressure on his shoulders. Oh my god, that is so quick from Monacy. The flick up. Safe thought he had a shot to peer over the top and get a bit of an off angle, but Monacy decides no. Sending and packing, right? The one kill from Jax on top, and then the one kill from Monacy. They're just ping-ponging between yeah. both bomb sites here. You can see this, this is the first time Furio looks a little stressed. You know, where is the opening? Where's the chance for us now? Starting to come through the squeaky door, but now you've got to deal with Nico inside of the site. And while he's ready, it's one onto Keserato. Rifle goes in. Do you like to be this time? And they're countering this now. Furia, really uncomfortable. Yeah, and Yuri might try and hold on to this AWP, 4750. So it's an expensive gun to hold on to, and I'm sure Safe will be very happy with that. I want to just have a little detail there. As soon as Alexi throws out that uh, smoke from vent towards Squeaky, Nico's aware that that can be used against him as a one way, immediately repositions, and Alexi plays close to the smoke for anybody lurking through. So good awareness of the potential gap, because Furia tried top, then they tried ramp, and then they were going to go towards Squeaky. And that's one of the options there where within the mid to late round, you do see see teams use that if they can't get into the top site, they'll drop down the vent and try and find an avenue towards the lower bomb site. But a timeout called on the other side of things now. This is going to be one coming out from Furia. Yeah, I think they've realized G2 have figured out the initial game plan of how to adapt to it. And now it's Furia's turn to figure out some of the answers to deal with Monacy and Nico's repositions. Yeah, got Gary there, the coach behind them. Going to be chiming on in with Art, the uh, anime protagonist. Seems like <laughs> NSYNC and Backstreet Boys hair is back in fashion. Yeah, if there was to be a, a real like football team, you know, Furia would be the Counter-Strike. Oh, yeah? They're the yeah. equivalent? I thought they yeah. were just poker players. They do Counter-Strike for fun. Yeah, it can, maybe, but they, they look they look very much like a Brazilian football team, I think. Or it's right. co constantly changing the hair. It's, 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 I feel like uh, you could definitely be one of those sort of fashion icons. I, yes. I like the Furia, the <laughs> new torchbearers of Brazilian Counter-Strike. I think uh, that they're an exciting bunch. A lot of skill within this team. I, I love K. Serato and Yuri as just two absolute beasts of players. Yeah. Here we go again. Guns out for both. And, well, they've continued to put Monacy towards ramp. So this is consistent as far as the change goes. An onslaught of grenades towards top. Standard play to try and make things as jarring as possible. And well, Yuri and Safe are actually working on some yard control during all of this. Yeah, at this point, if you can't get ramp, you have to look elsewhere. You can't just keep hitting from lobby. So they realize now we've, we've been forced into somewhat of an uncomfortable game. Maybe we can use Safe to try and gleam some of this outside control. Nico on the prowl over here isn't an easy player to take down. Fortunate timing there as well. Safe was just on the other side of red looking his way, but all they've done is clear out close. Safe's seen enough of Yard. He's been told, well, that's as far as the leash will go. 
Drops back, grabs the bomb, and parks Yuri to potentially flank late. This is looking likely to be a top split here. Or not, back towards ramp. They seem to test Monacy time and time again. Let's see, monacy has been good so far. Flash isn't going to really affect him in, in this position. He feels good for one, and they're not going to challenge him. Just throw a little flash, give a bit of presence, but he knows now they aren't really coming this way with ill intent instead. Fury now looking to send some numbers in towards this top side, but G2 saving utility, throwing it down, and having to force their way through the and smokes, drop. and Keserato down the vent alongside the rest of the squad as he now try and get into this B site. There's no one down here to deal with this. Monacy's Once trying to rotate. He's got here in time before they come out of decon. They're going to use the smoke to try and cross on over. Monacy goes for the shot through the smoke, but it hasn't worked out. He's lost his teammate. Alexi B goes down to the right full of Keserato. And a follow-up kill this time from Safe. It's looking good for Furia as they remove Monacy as well. Hunter, unfortunately, oh, no. even with the element of surprise, cannot best Art. And it's all on Nico to save this AK. Yeah, that right there. Alexi's been the one who's rotating lower, and he just wasn't the first responder on the site. So maybe the in-game leader of G2 expecting a different finish here. But there's one of the avenues, right? You can see the different pathways that they're trying to find themselves an opening, find themselves a way to get that bomb down, and they will succeed. They're going to put a stall out here to the previous two, which both ended in timeouts and saved guns. So good work from Fury here to find themselves six. Money's still in play right now for G2. Nico can drop a gun for Jackson. There'll be no dramas as far as their buy goes. But that was the only gap that they could have found, and they found it. So good stuff there to the Brazilian side of things. Just straight on down, a great opening. Alexi B scrambling towards the site. Desperate maneuver from him, and Keserato lops off the head of the two defenders who had the most potential threat. I think that now G2 are going to start to realize that maybe a bit more needs to be done with that vent in the late round. Furio love to abuse it. I think it just has to be, well, never mind, it's a different setup here. Monis is towards Yard this time with the AWP, so maybe they're moving Nico more into a top-centric hold here. Squeaky blown off to Leon through. Standard stuff from the Furio side of things. Just asserting some dominance and showing some presence. Not really moving with too much intent just yet, but those smokes towards outside have given Art a corridor to play with towards Yard. It also sends Monacy straight back. So who's going to be the rotator towards lower here for G2? Feels like it has to be Alexi. He's tasked himself with those rotations, trying to get down there in time, but Nico looking to defend oh, door. Line. Art just takes him out, and so that opens up a chance here, but Jackson Hunter, they're stepping up for G2, and Jackson's found another. It's all on safe now. 1v4 with the AWP. That's a raw card hole from Jax. Now up to three kills and uh, fantastic stuff from G2 being able to handle that bit of explosion from Fury. When Nico went down, it looked a little worrying there. It did indeed. And it just took the simple smoke wall. They didn't even do the full L block, right? They just dropped the two. I guess it was an I block in that regard just to get them across to Warehouse, but more used to come on into that main position for Art. Nico, you could see, right? Because they didn't have a first responder. Uh, I thought it had to be Alexi, but then that meant that Mondesi would have had to drop back. They would need to have somebody worrying about Heaven. There was a lot of gaps possible there within G2 CT defense. So really important three kills coming out of Jax here. Safe's position now noted. He's dropping down towards the lower site here, but with 19 seconds left, no bomb in his hands. We'll call this four for the international squad of G2. But they are having to fight and claw to get these. Every single gun round that has been won right now for G2, somebody has stayed alive and saved for Furia. So if they don't you know, find the success they're looking for, they're more than happy to put their toys in their backpack and head home. That's because they've been keeping the economy a little bit on the ropes for G2 too, right? You can't afford to throw too many members at this to try and hunt down those saves. So G2, not really too comfortable yet. Furia still poking and prodding and trying to find some openings. And to be fair to Art, he's been able to find quite a few of these openings. He has 10 kills right now, so he's definitely having his impact here. Great stuff from Jax. Solid stuff. Instead of just playing that static position towards the back, the site takes a different approach this time from the rafters. Buy in again for Furia. It's not going to be easy for G2 here at all. It's a quick door blown open. Monacy, oh, he's Ooh. come in and looking for the opening, but he can't get it. And so Furia running right into the site. They've spotted Jax on top of the site. Cylinders, and unfortunately for Jax, he's not able to get a single kill. He was blinded in the open. Hunter at least peels away with one, so that keeps it within the 4v4. But Furia in the site with the bomb down. 
Starting to look good for the chances. We've got to look to G2's retake. One way dropped here, so they might be able to still exploit the smoke from Fury. A bit of a gap of theirs. It's left just a sliver here to work with. U2 coming out, flashes to initiate. Plenty of nades to make this one work for G2, but in a four on four, it won't be easy. Yeah, they went in on Nico. He's still so far removed from the rest of the squad right now, so. Smoke will start to fade away. That one way not being used for G2, and they're being held back in main. In comes Art through the smoke. Missed shot from Monacy, and Art gets away with it. Alexi B has to retreat. Furia, a quick, explosive play. Not enough done from G2, and Alexi B is being hunted down. The AK desperately trying to be saved over, and it looks like you'll have that no problems. But Furia, that is another quick round catching G2 off. And this is uh, very difficult now, seven to four. Uh, I don't know how G2 are gonna be feeling about this first half here. This, this position from Jax really needs at least one. He yeah. can't afford to go down. You can understand why he plays that position, right? He's trying to avoid the mollies, but it is a curious one. Have a bit of a tech issue here. Won't be a, won't be a long one, it is just the FPS bug. I'm sure you, all of you at home have uh, experienced that. Yes. Log yeah. address. Yeah. Underscore one, right? Yeah, or everyone log underscore we'll write this one. down. Log address underscore add space one. Yes. Right, you all got that? Good. Have it down, put it on your desktop. Save it on a note. Get it tattooed on your forehead. No, don't get it tattooed on your forehead, <laughs> but don't forget about it. Tat it somewhere that can't be seen. Yeah, or maybe you want a face tattoo. Sure. You know, who am I to judge? Do whatever you it. want. Be your own individual. Getting the fist bumps back on through. You see, it's fixed already, guys. That's how quick this issue can be resolved. Uh, only takes uh, the knowledge of the admins. Now we'll get back into play. Furia throwing G2 a couple of curveballs here. I, I want to see G2 take some map control. Stop being dictated to, right? Take yard control. Maybe have a lobby push coming on through when they are being a little bit inactive in the early stages. Have a ramp crawl with the AWP. Take the fight to them. Be the ones here who can set the tone because look at this. They're just running out again. Yeah, and you have to stop them. Art luckily will be stopped by G2. And now Hunter looking. Oh, it's clean. Hunter with three. And that's knocked out Furia in this one. Finally, they, they see how much they can get away with. They try and do it time and time again, and finally Hunter stood up for himself. He said no, takes three kills down, and now Furia, oh, they're looking a little lost. How do you get into this one when you've lost so many players early? Safe actually gets the chance in Alexi B when the smoke fades away. Now that opens up a chance down to this B site. Yeah, we might need to flip this the other way. G2 have to convert this, right? It's not how to Furia find their way back in. It's how to G2 not screw this one up. And Safe is pushing forward. Luckily, Monacy had crossed beyond his crosshair. He's able to take the headshot and the bomb goes down. So now we're just looking to Yuri. 1v3 with the AK. Bomb is being watched right now by Monacy. And he's quick to the headshot. Five for G2. Strong hold initially from Hunter. Got a little scary towards the end, but G2 handled it. I just had a heart attack. Monacy was juggling guns there at the end. He <laughs> picked up the AK, picked up the M4 again, and then eventually got his hands on the AWP. So his weapon of choice grabbed in the final throws, but still a couple more necessary here for G2 on this CT side. Fury are looking extremely threatening here. They're not letting up. They're keeping all these rounds close, and you can see that uh, you're dropping and bouncing the nade off the top of Hut, combined with spam through. The molly's in play. It's the little details of utility here that stalled out that Fury top push, but do they want to try it again? Squeaky's open. This time not going to run into the onslaught of the bullets. Hunter blind spamming. Now, they don't know if a player's dropped down the vent. The flashes, the smoke, the molly, they obscured all that vision. Hunter cops a bottle to the face, and Ark gets him through the smoke. That's another opening. How do Furia play with this one? Because they have so much time left. That's a big problem for G2. Look how disconnected the G2 hold is. Alexi has had to drop towards lower because they don't know if anybody's dropped down the vent, and he can't really go looking right now. Monacy at ramp, Jax towards topside with Nico, who also has to worry about yards. So many problems now. Look where drop is. He's... Pushed all the way through hot. Nico starting to wrap around, taking a bit more of that control, but Safe is ready. He's holding for that. They're a while they're blindsided, and new G2 had to go for a play to try and gather some info back, but with that being punished, now Furious stand with a two-man advantage from the full head of steam. They charge into Jax. Trading. It's just good for one, and that's it. Alexa B now spotted in the vent, and yeah, G2, not really much in this one. Yeah, and that's the thing. You have to go for an info play, but it's on their lonesome. One of the things is, with current meta of nuke, you want to push lobby once you use yard control. Well, they're not taking yard control. Uh, you have yard, so you can't really push it's lobby. Kind of like the opposite Exactly, maneuver. right? So they're just sitting back and waiting, and uh, it's working out for Fury here. I can't believe they've found themselves eight rounds already. Now, I know the discussion with communication about an international team is always oh, yes. put through the ring, right? Oh, yes. the right man uh, here. 
We're looking at Furia as a team that are so disruptive, so quick, causing ro quick rotations, confusion. How is that going to transpire for a team like G2? Or, you know, let's be real, you know, a lot of these guys, English, not very strong for them. Some of them, especially Jax and Monacy, I don't really know. He sounds good in interviews, but how good is he in the quick sure. situations? Sure. There's a couple of details, right? I think we have saving graces. Nico's been playing in international teams for the longest period of time. Alexi in his job with OG was the same, and Jax and Hunter have had to do so uh, when they came together, right? So the only one is really Monacy here. Now, I've heard him in interviews. It's proficient enough, but the quickness that Fury play, yeah. key parts of Intel is the problem, right? And that could even be the issue when you are speaking your native tongue of, with everybody. So now you add that extra curveball in the mix. Maybe you miss the communication. Maybe someone doesn't get that key piece of information. They're sending and receiving, right? Maybe the acknowledgement of that's not coming on through. They've uh, called the positioning correctly. But this is a great T half from Furia. Eight, you've got to be really happy with how this one's starting. Oh, oh and Monacy is just in the flames in the open. He's lucky to stay alive here. This is a wild spot to find an AWPer. <laughs> Monacy's quick enough to get away with it. That's good. He's actually taken some heads-up play to put himself in the game. He said he can be static around that heaven position, maybe just in yard. They've sent their heat-seeking missile out, and he's found a kill. Alexa B is now on the ramp. Spots are coming in towards him, dropping back down without a kill, but Monacy's now back in his more comfortable spot, and he is quick to the kill on Art. Now we have to look to Furia, who run with a full head of steam down towards this B site, and Alexi B looking to dampen their fire. He's taken out safe. Two players left for Furia to recover this mission. It's not looking so hot to drop because now you've got Nico down here alongside Alexi B. So all the rifles ready to go. The FAMAS at range, not the best weapon, but Nico can certainly make it look proficient enough. Yeah, good damage done here from Nico there. That should just stall them out towards this ramp position and allow the news to tighten from G2. I liked what we've seen from Monacy here. They just need to finish this one off. Don't drop any bodies. Make sure going into the final round of play here, everybody's bought up fully because it could still be an 8-7. Nico removed. Now Alexi B is going to be tasked and unable to take drop on the first opportunity. Drop sneaking by, his head down. Does Alexi B expect him to get so wide already? He hasn't seen him on the, the second time of looking down the barrel, so drop might just slip by this. into the smoke, out of the smoke, and a free kill on Alexi B. He's biding his time. He's wanting to get as deep as possible, and he now assassinates the head of Alexi B. It's down to Jax, Monacy, and Hunter to try and close this one out, and somehow Furia have found a way into this. They've known the bomb's been down in this position for some time, but they haven't addressed the lower site completely. Three on two, HP's not great. Door swings oh, open, Jax down. denies, and that's it. That is it. It's all done. Monacy finally finds the final, and eight to six. Six. That one got a little bit crazy for a second or two. Yeah, that's the risk when you're trying to plant the bomb and bottom B. Just, just so many doors, so many positions you have to worry about. The problem in all of that is that quite a few G2 members went down when it felt like they didn't have to. So the rebuys are coming on through, guns are dropped, and they can make it work. But we can see Alexi going into an MP9. And the biggest so. tool of that last round is your op, and it's not there again. That's true. right? I like the fact that they used Monacy in a bit more of an aggressive yeah, position. We finally see him getting activated. Both teams with emissions in the buy for the final round here, round number 15, first half, map one. Well, Furia again, smash open that door, throw utility in to try and panic G2 early. And Art is certainly looking to continue that panic. Luckily, Nico is ready. Looking directly up, but look at Alexa to be position. Elevated, boosted up, and he'll take away one on the boxes. Good trade out from drop, but still, G2 will hold the advantage. And Furia, where does it go with this one? Oh, they've got ramp control. Last round, it was all down to the Biff with Alexia and Nico. Monacy's here again. Oh, he hasn't been Nothing. able to take a kill. Nico's down here at least. Head spotted. And that's going to be one. Nico transfers for two. And now it's just drop. Nico cleans it up. It's seven half. As close as you can get it here on Nuke. I cannot wait to get into the second. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back after this. Safe, uh, he joined Furia because he's very skilled, and that proves uh, because we play with him every day, breaking. So people don't really watch him play tournaments yet because we only play like two tournaments and small ones. But for sure, uh, through the year, they're gonna see him playing, and he's very skillful, and he's also uh, always uh, 
like he's a very good listener and that's a very nice skill to having a player and like a teammate and he has a lot of confidence. Furia keep G2 on their toes throughout that first half. Constant adaptations. Monacy finally being drawn into action and forced to adapt. And now we head into the second. It's seven. G2 do put up a decent amount of numbers, but Furia take the lead. And they'll be heading into the CT side, at least with a round advantage. And we know what's coming up in a pistol for Furia. It's going to be Yuri on the dual Barrettas. Yeah, so he's been dropped, though. Looking down the top side, you've got Drop as your ramp holder. Ah, just floating here, there, and everywhere. Safe as your heaven rotator. Yuri and Kay Serato as your top defenders this is going to be difficult to break, but 1x bad. They still seem to favor the international squad here. Lots of faith left over considering the slower start of things on that CT half. Well, my player to watch here in the second half is going to be Sif. Towards that warehouse, he is incredible when he gets the AWP out in his hands. So we'll see how he gets going here at the start of the second with a pistol. That's for everybody in Go TV, right, Dinko? Yeah, exactly. Yep, exactly. Keep eyes on Sif. Watch back the demo, but Art trying to slip through the smoke. It's Alexi B burning away safe at the start of this round, so not much to see from him this time. And G2 will be happy with the advantage. They're starting to apply pressure to drop as they start to send numbers, but Art, oh, double kill. Monacy and Alexi B down. Nico luckily treading that back, but drop is about to be tested here around the corner. When you're playing up in heaven, it's better to drop back here so you don't have to deal with multiple angles. It's, they saw the bomb towards the lower side as well, so it's forcing out such a crazy rotation. And this space is being taken, but drop look at this angle yeah it, this is smarter to do this if you stay up in heaven you've got to deal with the, the ledge you've got to deal with so many different options so if you drop back here you should be at least getting one and unfortunately oh he will get um, one uh, um, somehow Jax, um, you got a look and unfortunately that looks a little bit of a lack of communication chad wow just had absolutely no idea where i was getting shot from uh, okay well, they're into the side at least it is nico in a one on three so if there's anybody you want in this position it's nico yeah and he has got the bomb plant so at a minimum g2 will have a force buy in the next round but we've got to keep eyes on nico to see if he's going to pick this one up down the lower site rotations being made he's got to worry about so many different sides here ram decon double doors window so many positions nico has whirling through his head right now doors open wide they cross into him and nico will go down to the julies that's furia with a pistol it's Furia extending their lead but at least g2 will have enough money to force by in the next i feel like the computer that is the communication of g2 just broke down that round it just froze on out because that position from drop he took a couple of pot shots jack's unawares no trade possible there from hunter i believe it was and yeah this is the double kill from art ah i see that's where it all went wrong this is jack's he's not he's got no idea i think hunter came out and actually was shooting towards either main or ct vent there as well so uh, yeah great positioning from drop and yeah x taz's reaction i think that says it all it was such a, they were in such a good position at the start of the round right they had all the map control you wanted disjointed from g2 Fury up, comfortable buy here with majority rifles. Hunter trying to be quick, but he's got to run through the fire. The fire and flames he goes, and Hunter, like a dragon, will try and go forward with the Mac 10, but it's Yuri that's come back into play. Three picked up with the M4A1, and Monacy replies. It's just Nico yet again. This still is winnable for Nico as the Galil looks to drop at heaven. He will begin to fall back, but Nico bests him with the headshot. And now Nico begins to look for safe. Climbing down the ladder has so much time to play with. Yeah, here. so much time. That's the key here. Safe's going to actually offer himself up. Oh, unbreakable. Oh. The fight's going to come on. Nico with the headshot there, and they steal it back. What a clutch from Nico. They needed him, and he steps on up. He gets the room. They get the openings, and he'll close it down. That's the superstar potential we're talking about as Nico. He leads the server. 13, 14 kills for him. And you love to see it. And he needed that. He, G2 really needed a little bit of magic, something out of Nico to make the difference. Yuri looked like he held down this site. Good initial kills from Hunter and Jax. Yuri pulls it back for Furia, and it comes down to this Nico play. Cleans out Drop, who could have played a little bit further back, and 
Nico just playing the time, not getting pressured, able to manage the clutch. Well, the, the halves, as far as the scores read, have started the same, right? G2 winning the force by back in the same fashion, but this is fast in lobby. Alex CB. Oh, he's going to try and deal with him. Luckily for Fury, it is just the one for one. This is where you need to swarm on yard, right? Take all the space, try and constrict, get around towards heaven, take away the other rotation points here, and just maroon Fury and lobby. Flip the script, turn this round on its head, make it so that they have to operate like the T's, attacking back into the bomb site here. You can see safe's already rotated around towards hell. Nico needs to be very careful. Oh, you walk into the CZ, you can very quickly hit the deck. And safe has got a good angle. It's going to be Nico going down. Can't quite follow up for two, but dropping Nico out of the server is a big kill to find. And there's three rifles, two AKs of Galil remaining right now, and they are together. Util, it's not bad. They have a smoke. If they wanted to go down towards ramp, could be the right call here. Currently just one member of Serato down towards the lower site. A smoke towards Decon, a molly in towards the stairwell of the window room. That could be the Util required here to give them the avenue to get that bomb down. Yeah, Caserata doesn't really have the weapon here to deal with this either. G2 should certainly best him. Smoke window side, Molly Dark. Caserata could swing open the door and fight here now that he hasn't been negated by that smoke. Yeah, 30 seconds here for G2. They begin to start to plant that bomb. Caserato opens the door, flashes himself out. Now spotted and held back. Not really much found from that. Now Furia it does look very difficult for them here. They're starting to come down the ramp. It's Art with the rifle in his hands. I guess we'll give it a crack. See what you can find. Uh, well, a crack certainly found. It's uh, it's Art's skull that's been cracked open by Jax. Yeah, and that's enough. They've seen enough right here. I think just back up the vent, keep on what they have, and hold it into the next round of play. It's just crazy, right? You, you remember that Furio, the way that they kicked off their T-half. It was with basically a full eco, right? They had a flash, that a P250, a couple of Glocks, and they were able to pick up a miracle round. G2 have done similar things, but they've had to work a lot harder for it. And I think that's the story right now. G2 are having to work hard for the rounds that they're picking up. Even this one was stressful until it wasn't. So, tying up the scoreline here. Now, oh, 9-9. Nine, nine. No Germans in the server today. <laughs> we'll see one of these teams. Unfortunately, we will say goodbye to them at the end of this series in Katowice. G2, a lot of expectations on this roster. Still very early days, though. I think we have to set that context to the guys at home as well. You know, this G2 team, they look great on paper, sure. right? It's, it's just getting started. But it's meant to be seen as upgrades, right? And there's, there's yeah. a, this team was in the previous Katowice Grand Final, right? Uh, you got to go back with the previous LAN Katowice Grand Final against that and RV. They're in the major Grand Final. I know that there's different parts, but it's meant to be a better-looking team. Now, time, we'll give it to them for sure. We can see how great they can look. We've also seen how shaky they can look in certain times. Art, here we go. I've been practicing this. <clears throat> Already. That's your act. Oh, unfortunately, doesn't even get to rattle off, Chad. That has to wait till another day. All right, all right, all right. It's the one thing I work in in the offseason, how good my Zeus sound <laughs> sounds. Blair's got a pretty good one, actually. Oh, yeah, he's been... Yeah, Blair, he's, Blair's been working hard on that one. That's what we should have. We should, uh, you know, send a couple out, see which is the closest. It's a good competition, I think. I don't think they'll put voice lines in, but maybe they can have casters mimicking gun sounds. <laughs> That's the best we can get. Okay, well, uh, there's a bit of a B stream update for you. Close your eyes if you don't want to spoil it. I know there's some of you out there who want to go back and watch the VODs. For everybody else, the action is important right here, right now. That game started as a blowout for Fnatic. It's actually been drawn back quite the tight affair. Yeah, Stroll's loving in close games here in Katowice. Monacy. Under a bit of pressure. Luckily, they have their big brother, Nico, to deal with the bullies. And now it's just safe left, along with the USP. Yeah, nicely handled there. So, yeah, you're right, though, as well. Like, Big Brother, in the sense that they are going to be a mentor for this kid as well. So there's a lot of learning possible for uh, Monacy coming on through for this year. Yeah, and Alexa B was talking about that in the interview in terms of, OK, Monacy's coming into the team. It's not just one player you have to look up to. There's lots of experience in this team now to, to learn from. Um, and that's great for a player like Monacy who gets to play under a good IGL, uh, under the greatest rifle player, and you've got just this good synergy in the team right now. I feel like in the little tidbits we've read in interviews, especially after the, the uh, decoupling from Na'Vi, right? I think Blade made a comment like, yeah, he, he gets a bit nervous in pressure matches. Don't quote me verbatim on that one right there. It's more the sentiment. And then I think Monacy was saying, so, yeah, I think they're just saying that to, to get yeah. in my head. I don't get pressure. But this is the thing, you're 16. You're going to feel pressure, mate. Yeah, well, in Wii Play, they actually have a heart rate monitor. Yeah. And anytime he's in a clutch, his, his heart rate would go sky. Rocket. Okay, so oh. we have the evidence, Chad. Yeah, he's still young. He's still impressionable. Here's Nico quite quick, dropping into main, and there's the opening. Well, Nico is certainly cracking things open. Nico starting to have a good half here. Kesarado starting to rattle away. He's upgraded his MP9 to a Galil, but Nico still let loose. 
And he is starting to prowl. Smokes are up right now, so that doesn't really allow that access point to try and wrap around the heaven just yet. So he's deciding to drop back into warehouse and drop. They have pressured him a few times. They tried to punish him a little bit here, Chad. Yeah, that's the thing with drop. We don't talk about him too much, but he's still one of the newer boys on this team. Took Honda's spot also from the academy days. And, and they decided to move forward with him rather than Vinny. Much yeah. more experienced player. That's another curious decision, isn't it? But there must be something about drop that they like the look of here as he starts to have a little bit of a quizzical glance towards the yard position. Nico lying in wait towards main. Has Monacy starting to join the conga line? He's over towards T-Red. Jax is walking over silently and Hunter, the rear of the pack. Now with Nico in his current position, he can peer on out and see if there's anybody towards heaven, anybody towards hell, and they can escort themselves across down towards secret. Yeah, if Nico keeps getting this space, this is really going to help G2 a lot in these gun rounds. It allows this team to maneuver whatever they, way they want while also having that fallback, that extra bit of spice to the round with Nico. Time's going to start becoming an issue yeah. here. They need to get past safe. And guess what? He still has a smoke. It really is getting quite scary now for G2. They have to be explosive past this choke point. Safe goes out for the first pick, but unfortunately, not a single kill for him. Now we have to look to the plant. They have to go into the lower site. Although Nico, this door, nearly another one from heaven, but oh. luckily clean on the recovery this time around. And uh, unfortunately drops not where, not anywhere near the site, so can't deny and create that chaos. Yeah, that's crazy, right? If you're safe, you can understand why he's playing in that position so he can rotate up the vent quicker if it's a top play. But if he was playing on the stairwell or if he was doing the jiggle with the smoke, he could have been able to drop that. That might have been enough, but Nico recovers, and that was perfect. They dropped the molly in the vent. There's no way down the vent, and he just comes around from heaven. Two players not looking his direction. Lovely shots, and G2 take the lead 11-9. to nine. Yeah, Nico is looking warmed up on this T side. They're going to have to deal with that threat. Maybe I think Safe is going to be the player that's tasked with dealing with him once they get that AWP out. Is he occupies that position. If he can lock that away from Nico once they get the guns out, that's an adaptation that will be needed for G2. Yeah, well, it's not going to be easy on a round like this. We'll just be down to the pistols. The Deagle, the CZ, the rest on the USPs, the Zeus, and an aggressive yard maneuver here. Well, Jackson Monacy at the ready. Good pick from Monacy. Jax able to follow up as well. Here he's good for one on the Deagle, but Nico makes sure that he pads the stats even more here towards outside against the Pistols. Here's your second chance, Chad. All right, come on, Kesarada, give me something. Are they getting too many chances here? No, but you know, it's a long round still, a minute 20 seconds. Come on to shine. <clears throat> I'm really getting my action stands ready for this one. We'll have another award in your cabinet, Chad. It'll be our Oscar-worthy performance. Okay, I don't know if we've made it. Oh, actually, to be fair, I think I've seen some eSport awards starting to make their way into that uh, category. Oh, here he goes, Kesarado. Go. Come on, come on. He just wants them to walk into him, but they have no reason to do so. He's, he's got a USB. Kesarado, be patient. You know you bought this for the memes. Come on. You know Move what for us doing all. here. Doesn't have the patience, goes on down. Maybe we get another opportunity. But 12 to 9, and opportunity is starting to wane for Furia now. Yeah, that really is the big problem here. You're going to have a gun round coming up. Double orbs. You said once the orb comes out, two could be the answer here. Ah, picking up the secondary. That's pretty standard stuff from him, but safe gets his. Now let's get to see what he really has to offer. This is you often Furious answers. It's just more ops equals wins. Uh, definitely interviewed Art a few times, and he seems to be going down that path of logic. We'll see if that does work out. It's shutting down some of this map control for G2. Well, they have taken a timeout to discuss their options, a chance for Gary to get on the mic here, decide where they want to play these double orbs. I think standard play would be one towards ramp and, you know, one doing the yard slash heaven float with your rifle is just locking down the key choke points. You could drop, drop down towards the lower site immediately here, or even Ark could go down there and orb secret. They could do something crazy, which is classic Fury. I'd have two orbs holding the outside position, really just to stall out Nico and his, what are we looking at now? 23 kills. Almost 10 kills above anyone else closest in the server. Jackson to, uh, aren't the only exceptions to that. This is so important for Furia to win this one. Otherwise, we're looking at G2 really steaming ahead. Yeah, Arch has gone through main and then down the vent. So, yeah, look, he, he he's that type of guy. Bit of a gap towards the yard. Smoke's being highlighted here, but nobody behind it just yet. Just Nico to park himself behind the annex. Oh, I've just gone full Australian there. The main position. Drop. Drop very quickly. Throws down the molly. Yeah, so much space to work with and early. 
Yeah. Minute 15 on the clock, and they have ramp control, so... Just the sheer presence of the footsteps is enough to the bully drop away. Now, how are they going to make this one work? Because they've applied pressure towards ramp, and they immediately pivot back towards this top side. The thing is, Yuri and Caserato were the two that I'd like to stay away from. Fifty-five seconds. Hunter is going to smoke out mid, and now comes up Art. Yeah, I think he hasn't really got the memo of the the Orps of sniper. He thinks it's a shotgun. He's going to play close towards the vent. Forty-four seconds left. Casarado now spotted and try and beat Nico in a duel. Here goes Art. Of course, he gets away with that. No scope. Close to the door. That's the bomb drop for G2, and they have to run into him to get it back. Back turns. Oh, he just runs back into them, and safe now holding on. Anchor from the site with the AWP. He's picked up two. Monacy picks up the bomb. Nico being tied from behind, and Drop has come up secret, putting it all on Monacy, who's dropped down the vent. But look at this from Drop. He's realized that's the option. He's gone quickly down the secret stairs. Monacy will get away with the bomb plant, and now tasked with a clutch. 13 rounds could be picked up for for G2 if the young man can get it. Oh, and he's so quick on the first. Molly out towards Decon. And now he's starting to figure out where is the last player. Saves on the AWP himself. He's pulled out the USP. Monacy is low. Monacy's reading this. Monacy has an idea that he might just be above him. And he sees the power on this shot from Monacy. And now safe back into oh. it, and he drops down. Monacy loses his opponent, and to the defuse he will run. Oh, so close there. I don't know how Monacy hits half the shots he does. Uh, the majority of the time, the player's not even on the bloody screen, and he flicks on in. The refuse coming through. Is there time? Is there time? Just oh, seconds in it, Chad. Oh, dearie me. That would have been something from the grave. Monacy could have had that one done, but safe. He gets them across the line and gets Fury up to double digits. Only just. Oof, all right. This one's starting to heat up here. And Safe had a lot of impact. He stalled this out. He forced them to go elsewhere. Nico getting caught out by drop there. Great kill from him. But this one, up close and personal. I thought it was done. But yeah, the kid, it made it a questionable scenario as far as the defuse goes. Well, here we go. Back into play. Round 23. Both teams with buys. No secondary orb for Art this time round. And fast top again. Yeah, Hunter just charging forward with some ill intent. It's Yuri that swings out, but just one Keserato helps him. At least a couple of kills here for Furia, but that kill, that's ridiculous from Art. change the whole tune of this round here. Monacy can scoop up the bomb again, but look how disconnected Alexi is from the pack. It is just Monacy marooned in the site, currently on an island. Alexi needs to help him out here. Bomb's gonna go down. They still have another smoke for main if they'd like. Three on two retake. Furia feeling good about the numbers they've got into this one and the utility left as well. Safe can just wait out this smoke. Monacy starts to turn his attentions away. The shot trying to pull his attentions away from heaven. There's no kit for this. So time is of the essence for Furia to get back into play. Monacy just having to peer between two angles in the flash. Oh, how does he get away with that? That's a ridiculous shot. And now Alexi B's been set up for the clutch to the defuse. Safe will go, but he is it. down. That should be it. And just not enough time. I have no idea how Monacy lands shots like that. Oh my god, this guy is... He's so quick. He's quick. Yeah, that's the key thing about this kid. If he can keep that quickness about him and the fundamentals and his playbook as an individual continues to grow, he's going to be a scary, scary player to deal with. I guess that's what you get when you're 16, right? Yeah, it's just these, just these super quick reactions. High twitch fibers. I just cannot believe he, he's even that accurate. It wasn't. It looked like a no score. It was so damn quick. Looks to be set up for the clutch, able to come around the backside, and yeah, the lack of kick costing him there as well. And that's an important round for G2 as they now go to 13. Double up setup again will come out for Furia. Having to work hard for this, and Caserato and Yuri, the fact that they traded one for one on the top side right there, they're doing the best they can when that onslaught's coming. Art was the kill through the smoke that seemed like it would have been the difference maker, but great stuff there to pull it back. And just the pressure of the time, the pressure of the clock, a big round to win and a pressure round indeed. Double orbs, MP9 and two Famuses. It's a kit this time round at least. And it's going to be rough for Furia going forward here. Max loss bonus is in play. Next round, 3,400 into the bank balance, but rounds seem to be the biggest drama right here, right now. G2 with everything they need to run this one home. What's the call here from Alexi and Co? Squeaky blown open. Smoke on out. Has a bit of room. Monacy's found the kill, and over the top of the smoke, Alexi does too. Nice little maneuver there. Gets himself down, and wow. the kills keep coming. Monacy on to save two. Alive, and it's just Yuri and Drop who have to wonder what the hell just happened. It feels like they're, they're not, their spine's just been snapped out of their, their back, right? Yeah. It feels like this is starting to fall down the hill for Furia. Uh, 
this it's is... after a great first half as well, right? You had a really good first half of play. All your tricks worked. And, oh, Yuri, okay, okay. He's grabbed one. Now, they need to start working on a few more. I don't like drops chances. If he can get closer towards Hutter on the rafter, maybe, just maybe, Yuri knowing he needs to search. Shot. Oh, he has a second okay. chance of survival here. That's an uncharacteristic miss for Nico. Yuri, give it a slight opportunity. But G2 with the... Heavy numbers still. Nico takes a little time to the molly towards outside, but we go under a minute here. Yeah, Yuri can't go anywhere. He kind of has to push in towards lobby here, which is the scariest of all with the AWP. If he drops down vent, Alexi will kill him. The rest of the team could start to make their way across down towards secret again. So they smoked off main. They've completely removed him from the picture. And yeah, you can see him trying to take some real estate back towards lobby here. The worst case scenario would be... No, oh, hold up a second. They might be heading towards heaven. And that's where drops MP9 does become a bit more potent. You can make this work. Nine towards main, but definitely towards heaven. G2 like to make it difficult on themselves sometimes. Well, now they got to deal with drop. 20 seconds left. If drop can dispel Bombs and he can here. slow this down, that's the bomb, but Hunter quick to the headshot. Now it's Yuri, and he oh. will find Alexi B, nearly the collateral. Looking up towards heaven, they've got down, and that bomb will start to go down, but Yuri, he's finding kills, and finally put an end to by Jax. G2 like to, to raise my heart rate a good bit here, Chad. They're yeah. going to age me quicker than anything. So late with the bomb heaven as well. That MP9 could have sung right there, and Yuri's orping. Well, give it to him too. There was a couple of quick shots. If that collat comes in, holy moly. Good stuff from Yuri there, but 14 to 10, and oh, this one might be reaching its conclusion in two rounds' time. Oh, that's it. That was the chance. If he gets the collateral, like you said, turns back, you know, he has the 1v1, and crazy stuff out of Yuri. Showing there may be even be potential for a triple op set it for this furious side. Let's do five, why not? Yeah, I've, I've seen them push those numbers before. Just be meta breakers here on the side <laughs> of things for Fury. Now, they haven't gone all in on this. They've limped in with a couple of purchases, and one of those purchases has found a kill. Alexi down, and Keiserado evaporates immediately down the vent. Last four members for G2, with plenty of time left, are over towards Yard, and they've stuck quite closely together here. But look at this, lobby pushes coming in. This is called completely clear right now for Furious. So not only are they gathering kills, but information in case Serato on a collision course with another. Yeah, he's right behind Monacy. He's starting to creep up behind the sniper, but hasn't moved far enough. I don't know if he will. He's trying to get closer and closer. Finally spots out Monacy, neutralizes that threat. And that's, that's two kills though. now for Furia. Yeah, that's, that at least is the saving grace here for G2, but Art now will see them. Reads the position of Nico. Can't beat him out, though. Still G2 in a very difficult spot, being two players down in Serato once again. Swings out from secret, hangs him out to dry, and now Nico into the clutch. His second of the round, getting close to the MP9, and Yuri will make it happen. 11 rounds for Furia. That's a round I didn't really expect to go their way, but Caserato does the heavy lifting. Two key rounds within this game. The first half I've referenced a few times. The second round of the game, that's how they got the engine started for their T-Hall. And now this one, it was a lighter investment. It wasn't a full investment. Caserato with massive impact, and they pull this one off. They give themselves a nice little buffer as far as the economy is concerned, and x Chaz is going to chip on in and, well, talk them through the timeout. Chance to have a bit of a conversation here about what they need to do differently. Things have been going so well up until this point. The CT's rounds have been very spotty. Pistol lose the force. They've had a gun round, and then this was a half by, I suppose. This could be what Fury need, though, to get the engine going late within this first map of play. Still have the B stream going as well. Australia, Australians versus Fnatic. Well, this is the fuel supply now farm for Furia. We'll have to see if it's going to be enough to keep them ticking on here on Nuke. G2. They've got the AWP out from Monacy. The AKs, Utility. Things still looking good over in their camp. And they look to try and push 15. Caserato, the hero of the last round. This time being pressured early around this door fight. He's throwing his own smoke down and looks to play around just to try and gather info. Is anybody from G2 trying to play around this vent? Nico, much more... Proactive towards outside, but if he pushes too far, safe is ready for him. Okay, well, they can still throw whatever variation of smoke wall they'd like, and you can see them lining that up now. Mm. Not wanting to give away an opening kill over towards lobby. You can see Art as well towards the lower side. He's going to make his way up secret. The timing on Art could be everything here. 19 kills to his name. How many more is he going to get? He could be disruptive. Molly goes down to try and signal that he's not here from his teammates. So Art. Now peeks up with Great a flash. flash. It's so well played from Furia to just get that one kill. He needs to get away now. Art's done more than enough. The nade damage is good. They're trying to chase him. Alexi was quick. 
There's a smart play right now from Fury up. Nico again giving this outside control, but Fury is still have the advantage. Safe still alive up towards heaven. They will be aware that Nico could be coming through here. Can drop better Nico around this corner. He's got the tight angle on the left side of Nico. He'll start to move forward. 35 seconds. We need something to happen here for G2. And Nico, of course, he will start it. The headshot onto drop. Coming down the B side. Nico is going to add a prong to the approach as he comes in from ramp. But Art will be the player that needs to hold here for Furia. They're about to run into his crosshair. Art, good on the second oh! as well. And it goes back for more. Art with a 3K up to four in total. And now Nico left trying to get into the round, but there's no time to do it. Furia have just toyed with him. In fact, it is just Art that has done everything. Finally, he will be put to bed by Nico. But it's all about not dying after the time here, Nico. He needs oh, to hold no. it. And he goes down after time. That is a rough one right there for Nico to have to swallow. And Art, everything masterful from him. At least Nico does have 2K left in the bank, which does average out to the rest of his teammates. Yeah, look, that's probably uh, the nature of him getting all the kills so far. 28 for him. Art, though, this is massive work. Just a three-piece feed right here. Silent Stem 4 doing it all. And Monacy unable to hit that shot on the AWP to trade him on out. It's great from Art. Huge stuff in players. It will be G2 down to just the pistols here. This is looking very good for Furia now. A late resurgence here is Monacy with the Zeus. Here we go, Chad. Yeah, smooth moves. Uh, oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Close. The range was there. It, it felt like it. Felt like that was the one. Drop one for one. Luckily, safe patching up the hole, but there is another head showing. And safe will take it off. Good clean up here from Furia. 13 on the board. One away from tying things up versus G2, who now will have enough money for rifles out across the board, but it is not going to be a very strong T-buy here. That's the thing right now. Hunters automatically purchased straight into the AK as well, so I felt that there maybe could have been a bit of a conversation. Nico has gone for the AK, but without head armor. So, yeah, it's not going to matter against the AWP or the AKs, is it? But there are a few M M4s out to play. That might come back to bite him in the ass. I wonder if there's anything different here from G2. Yeah, there has to be a bit of a change of play, right? And they need somebody else to manufacture an opening for them. Squeaky blown open. Alexi trying this, this maneuver again. Alexi B's charging right through the smoke and the flash is so good. It's nearly a second for Alexi B. Vent. And they have made it down the vent. A quick skip and a hop and they're down on B. Nobody has addressed this just yet. Door swung open. Penny has to be starting to drop right now. Molly towards ramp. Rotation coming in. Drop is alerted to this. The Jax looks for him. Drop held back in the fire and flames. Nico, one for one again, keeping the even odds on the table. So low. Look at them all. Oh, Nico crossing outside. Safe is ready. And that's the kill that gives Fury the advantage, but they have to get back into the site here. The players of G2 are damaged up, but this time is starting to tick. Fury, if they want to get through this, they have to break down the doors of this B site quickly. And Jax makes the proactive. Play. Oh, what? Oh, that is lovely from Jax in the turn back. And that's enough. That's 15 for G2. Look at that shot from Jax. What a blinder that was. He was just guarding off Monacy there. He was stuck on the side on his lonesome Jax. <laughs> <laughs> Biff and a Bosch one. Just flexing on the right now, Jax. That, that is what you love to see. That has put G2 in a great position. You look at Fury right now. They are broken of that. Jax with a proactive play. Realizes you just can't sit back. Then turns so quickly, so accurately, and is able to hit the headshot for the second. Knocks him down. On to 15, and timeout called right now from G2. Extaz knows this is the moment they can just get it across the line. It has been a little bit stressful here. The score line, yeah, very, very Wait. close. Okay, guys, we have another best of three for win this one. We have to try and do this as quickly as possible. Let's try and conserve some energy, shall we, boys? Show less of the playbook here as well. A bit of a conversation between Alexi, Nico, and Extaz here. You can see them looking at each other down the line, just trying to talk through what the options are going to be. Alexi needing to be the man to make the final call of all of this. And he actually is purchased into a MAC-10. Now, Alexi's impact with that round he just had, the entry into top side is what kicked that all off. He only has 11 kills, but that one right there is an important round to get them to 15. What is the call going to be? Take a little bit of a look at his spawn. He's at the back of the pack with the MAC-10, so unlikely to be able to pull off anything too quick with it. But both teams with full buys, both teams with SMGs, drop with the MP9, Alexi with the MAC-10. Oh, safe. Trying to be a bit more active in the opening fight, but unfortunately not given the opportunity to take one down through the door. Oh, no, Straight he'll be taken smoke. down. Jax removes him on the spam through, nearly gets the second opportunity onto Keserato. Art is starting to feel like he needs to do something. He wants the AWP. 
been able to pick it up yet. Likes to be into the ramp side. Uh, being held back from all fronts here. Furia doing a decent job of containing them and funneling them into the lobby for now. Still a lot of time for G2. Drop if he's tested here. He doesn't have the best weapon, Chad. Yeah, no utility to slow them either. So Alexi might just be able to run him down with this MAC-10 in hand. They are starting to all turn their attention over towards the radio room. Is Nico still outside? He'll be the linchpin of all of this. Drop, you're about to be tested. Well, Drop is certainly under a lot of pressure. The MP9 is the weapon. It is close. Alexi B gets melted, but the defense liquidated, and it's all on Keserato. He's down on the lowest side, but G2, they look like they've done it. Keserato, not even the right side oh, of the map heaven, here. Yeah. That's the ball going down to eight. That should be the death sentence passed on now. Yeah, this is going to be very difficult for Keserato to win AWP in the event. It was a valiant first half. You loved what Fury were bringing. They're playing outside of the meta here. A lot of lobby plays, a lot more top aggression. Now, just going to come on up. Ladder noted. Tries the no-scope, and this is just a matter of time. Keserato does get the no-scope for style points. And has another crack, but Hunter takes him down, and that's going to be it. G2 picking up map number one here in the best of three. It's do or die. It's survival. Another best of three later in the day, Dinko, but that is what we wanted to see, the recovery. Yeah, absolutely. You see the recovery coming through. G2 take their opponent's map pick. Fury are going to be feeling a little hard done by now as they have to try and battle back in the series on G2's.